Today, I'm driving the first ever Defender V8 Supercharged. This is one of my favorite SUVs right now, and you probably watched one of my reviews. It is quite an impressive vehicle, what they've done with this thing, and it's quite spe special as well because the way it looks, the way it feels, the way it drives, the power, everything about this thing is just insane. It drives like totally different from a standard Defender that I've driven before. The ride is different, the suspension is different. Everything has changed in my opinion. It feels very different. It drives much nicely and it is far better on the inside in some tweaks that it has, like the steering wheel. I love that suede and you still don't lose the heated seat, uh, steering wheel version. And you don't lose the heated steering wheel option, which I also love. But on my left side, we also have one of my favorite pickup trucks, the Ram T-Rex or the TRX, whatever you want to call it. I call it the T-Rex. And that thing, it is quite a beast. Money-wise, they're almost very close to, almost, uh, depends on the option. So they're very similar. The difference is that one is a pickup truck, the other one is an SUV, but they're both V8 supercharged. Uh, and things are going to get pretty wild. I want to see how good or how fast is this v8 supercharged defender that's that's what i want to find out today and the only way to do that is by bringing someone else that has a v8 supercharged uh there's not that many options out there in terms of supercharged v8 suvs unless you go for a track hawk but that's not really the same size as this so it wouldn't be fair so that seemed like the closest one i could find there might be another option which is not a supercharged but i haven't decided yet we might be doing that in the future but for today here's what we have it's a ram trx and the defender v8 so let's talk about the numbers the defender uses a five liter v8 supercharged engine which is similar to what you'd find in the f-pace as we are this produces 518 horsepower and 461 pound-feet of torque. It will do 0 to 60 in 4.9 seconds. Top speed out of 149 miles per hour. It uses an 8-speed automatic transmission and it weighs 5,735 pounds, which technically makes it lighter than the TRX. The TRX on the other side, we have a 6.2 liter V8 supercharged that is an absolute crazy machine. It makes 702 brake horsepower. It has a maximum torque of 650 pound-feet of torque. It uses an eight-speed automatic transmission. It will do 060 in 4.5 seconds, 
and the quarter mile apparently does in 12.9 with a top speed of 118 miles per hour but here's the catch the trx weighs well a lot more than the defender v8 but it also makes a lot of horsepower it weighs 6369 pounds that is close to a thousand pounds like 800 and something um that is pretty heavy that's a heavy machine uh it's gonna be quite interesting they're both off-road slash suvs they're filthy today even though jamie who's the owner of the trx which is stock did actually wash it yesterday and i picked this up washed yesterday but they both got filthy on the way here because of coming from toronto it was like a bit of uh rain so even though we try to keep them clean almost impossible but nonetheless today we want to find out which one is the faster one in some ways i have a feeling the trx might take this but i'm always being surprised by cars so i'm not going to guess or pick a winner at this point i generally don't know at this point because it's just one it makes more horsepower but it's also heavier but knowing that trx and driving both of them i kind of have a feeling that that will take it i don't know by how much but i also want to see this thing in action this is so good that i actually feel like i want to buy for myself for day to day my only problem is that my building this thing is so close to the door um that it, it makes it very uncomfortable going back and forth but this thing it's it's so good they've done a fantastic job in this vehicle and i would care less if it wasn't as fast as the trx but the way this thing drives feels so different from any other defender that i've driven whether it's the two-door or four-door in canada so far we only get the four doors you can place an order but you don't know when i actually spoke to a dealer about it so the four door is the one that is going to be the best option at this point so let's uh let's roll okay jamie can you hear me i hear you just fine okay sir so my side here's what i have i'm gonna put mine in dynamic mode that's technically sport mode that's the highest you can get on this and my car actually can go into sport transmission so with traction on we're going to keep this in automatic shifting not manual shifting at all we're going to do from a dig um let me know what modes you're going in perfect so i'm going to put mine in a uh, sport mode automatic and uh, that's pretty much it i'm going to manually brake boost it and that's it okay sir uh you know the drill you've been here before you're a master at this i am good to go on my side Christ, he is gone! Oh my God, I am, I am like two behind. Jesus Christ! <laughs> You know, uh, you know when they say, Jamie, that you, you, you gave him dust? Well, the ice behind your truck is literally coming in front of me. Yeah, it's certainly cleared a lot of that ice off there, huh? <laughs> Man, like the expression of his, like, I gave him dust or like, I, uh, eat my dust. It was the perfect one. Well, that was fun. Dude, that is so quick. But I have to say, even this, it's actually it feels quick but my goodness like the difference is like day and night but let's do a roll now we're gonna keep it at 50 kilometers an hour but let's do a roll to see how that's gonna uh that's gonna go because like i know yours really launches like a mad machine yeah, for uh, rolls, this thing is, I would say this is the weakest spot, it's roll racing. The alcohol is great, but it's going to be interesting for roll racing for sure. Well, let's do this, sir. Let's do the roll, and uh, we're going to do it at 50 kilometers. I'll explain to you exactly. No. <laughs> I'm actually closer, but not that close. Come on, Defender.
was closer on the roll. Not that close, but closer. It was closer on a roll. Would you agree? Definitely. Yeah, definitely on that roll there. It's uh, gears for a lot more strength there. Um, I adore, I, I'm gonna say this, if I had the money, I would buy two. This would be like for my wife and that would be for me. I love both so much. But that was it guys, um, that was it. Like this is, I, no matter, even if I, even because this lost, I, I still love this thing. It makes less horsepower and that TRX is an absolute beast. And when Stellantis FCA, whatever you wanna call them says, uh, 702 horsepower I think feels like a lot more than that um, and I've said that since day one and this thing does 0 60 like not 4.5 we've got 3.9 on that I know Jamie got 3.9 on that beast like in that beast that just shows you how insane that thing is it's if you're looking for a pickup truck that is fast that is that that's it you won't get unless Ford comes with a Raptor R which is V8 supercharged but that beast it's absolute madness um, but I still love this V8. I love this Defender V8 because I love the Defender as an actual SUV. And this thing, it's I, it's changed my opinion completely about the car. And I was waiting to drive this and it happened. Um, it's such a machine. And they're both machines because they both go off road and on road and for drag racing. They do pretty much everything. Thanks for watching guys. And special thanks to Jamie for joining us. Cheers.